Hey guys, welcome back to Stacy Goes Outside. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I make fishing videos and I try to post content at least once a week. So if fishing is your jam, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So for everyone who's been messaging me asking when I'm gonna go back out on the water with Kyle Wise of Headhunter Sport Fishing, today is your lucky day. Earlier this year, we were on the water targeting bass and crappie. And I told him that the next time we get together, I want to hit up a new lake and I want to target a species that I've never targeted before. So I was super excited when he reached out and offered to take me fishing for catfish. As you can see, we're going to get started in broad daylight. We are in the middle of the craziest heat wave here in Northern California. So this is going to be an evening and night mission. We're gonna get on the water around six and we're just gonna hang out for a few hours, hopefully enjoy the lower temperatures and um, keeping my fingers crossed that we will land some catfish. So let's go fishing. Our setup for catfish tonight. We have a snap swivel to a barrel swivel to a three foot leader. And is it a three odd fluorocarbon? That makes no difference. They're catfish. Okay. They're not shy. And what are we using for bait? Cut bait. <clears throat> Dead fish. Just a variety of whatever. Just a got. variety. Parts. Parts is Just parts. Chunks of fish. Is it um, soaking in anything in particular? No. Nope, it's just frozen fish. So none of that uh, strawberry jello stuff? <laughs> no, no. All right. No. Nothing fancy here. Is it a light or something that glows that you've got on the, on the bobber. line? Okay. When you set the hook, that bobber's gonna end up over there somewhere, and I want to be able to find my bobber, so I put glow lights oh, on. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So instead of watching rod tips, we're watching these bobbers move, right? And then you said the hard part's getting it to the boat. Why Why are catfish so much more challenging? There's a lot of snags down there on the bottom. Oh, okay. So you want to start reeling quick. Oh! Can you tell if they stole the bait or not? You didn't steal it. Oh. It's going to happen so fast. That <laughs> bobber's going to hit to that rod, and you're not even going to get to that rod. That's how fast they hit. Until you see it, you won't believe it. So when it's that slow, what's happening? They're it's just biting so it, or what? They're supposed to suck the whole thing in. If it's just what we just saw, they're just nibbling at the end of the bait. Yeah, or... big fish will just swallow it. But the little, little ones will just nip just at, it? at it. Okay. Oh, jeez, oh. these two rods. Pack away, pack away. <laughs> just eat it. Number four, number four. Yep. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Is it just real, 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 right? Oh. Holy. Keep him out of the mud. Yep. He's right. I got the. It's right up there. Oh. Oh, it's a bass. Is it really? Yep. <laughs> Son of a. <laughs> Good. Well, I haven't caught a bass in a while. What the heck? That's too funny. <laughs> Sometimes I catch catfish when I'm targeting bass, but I've never gotten bass by targeting catfish. All right, wrong species, but. So the light doesn't scare the fish at all? No. Does it attract them at all? No, it will. It'll, oh, really? It'll bring all the shit out of them. You said the light attracts the shad? Yeah, it'll draw up the plankton, and then the shad come to feed on the plankton, and bring everything else. We'll feed on the shad? Feed on the shad. <laughs> Nibble? He let go of it before you even got there. Because uh, I, I seen the line go slack. Uh, uh, Yep. Yep. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Keep him out of all those other lines. Yeah. Oh. oh, there it is. It's running, it's running, 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 running. Oh, shoot. <sighs> Come on, guy. Pissed. No, don't reel no more. Don't okay. reel. Just lift the rod straight up. Don't back up. Oh. Don't ever back up. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Now just lift the rod up. Oh my god. Let out one. Yep. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Big ones hook themselves. At last. Finally got one. Nice little eight pounder. We've been teased all night. These guys have just been nipping at our bait, but this one finally sucked it up. So not a bad one. Maybe we'll keep this one. We'll see. Just under, oh, eight, eight right on the dot. You're pretty good at guessing those. What do you want to do with it? Um, let's keep that one. Do you
does not want to come see us. Oops, so, oh, he's ready that way. Oh no, oh no. Oh. Don't. What? I can't see what you're... You see the rock. Yep. You can't let him touch the side of the boat. He touched the side of the boat here. Uh, sorry, he, he ran, ran on the, the side couldn't... of the boat and he's gone. Oh. Did it come off? What happened? Did you break? I have no idea what happened. It looks like you broke off. You broke off. Yeah. Shh. So when it was running under the second rod, I should have gone to the rail and held the rod out. Force him to turn. Yeah, it hit the side of the boat because that's 25 pound test. Okay. That's big stuff. Yeah. Anytime it rubs the bottom of these sleds. Yeah, I'll just cut it? Yeah, because you know we run them up on the rocks. Yeah, so. okay. Ooh. 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 Here you go. Good one? No, but he's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, Zach. Squirrely. Just don't reel my... Yeah. Swivel through the eye of that rod. It's so hard to tell. Oh, there you go. Oh, it is a oh, that's catfish. Oh, he's fucking barely even hitting that thing. There's a good one, too. Oh, oh, over here, bud. Fucking that big old fish barely hitting it like that. <laughs> a little bigger than the other one? No, small. no, small. <laughs> All right, guys, so official count one largemouth bass, two nice catfish. So we let one go, we're going to flay the other one, and we're going to head on out of here. How much longer will you be doing these catfish trips? I'll probably run them to the end of September. Okay. You know, it depends on weather. I'm going to move right into trout fishing. Oh, trout fishing. Okay. What's the best way for folks to get hold of you if you want to book, if they want to book a trip? They could reach me at 209-531-3966 or headhuntersportfishing11 at yahoo.com. All right, guys, so that's a wrap for my first visit to New Maloney's. Middle of the night, I'm gonna go home and get some sleep. Not bad, I got three fish. Um, really didn't know what to expect, so I'm glad I got a couple of channel cats. And of course, I was super surprised by that bass. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, tell your friends. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And who knows, maybe the next time when I'm out here for my second trip on New Maloney's, I'll see you outside.